What's up guys? Black Mama 703 coming at you with a pack opening video. Now, as you can see, there is a lot here. I should probably move these up here. And possibly remove the sticker. Hold on. I'm so prepared for this, aren't I? <laughs> That's good enough. Anyways, as you can see, I have four of these uh, dual overload. I have a total of eight of the Secret Slayers. And I got two of these special editions, one for Ignition Assault and one for Circuit Break. Two of these are being saved for a later video when uh, Dark Sage comes over. So I'm gonna put them to the side and those will probably be opened up over, over on his channel. So keep a lookout for that. So, let me go ahead and do a fast forward here and get everything opened up. All right, I'm back. Uh, had a bit of a fumbling and <laughs> dropped them. So I haven't seen the promos for these two yet. Um, go ahead and get it, these out of the way real quick first. Uh, have you seen with my other video for the uh, dual overload? You get these really cool uh, giant cards. Um, the last one I got was Blue Eyes Red Dragon. My favorite monster, so I was really happy to get in that. Let's see what we got here. All right. First one. Another blue eyes. Can I get a third one so we can make blue eyes ultimate? Let's see. Oh, Dark Magician Girl. It's actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Keep her on here. Yeah, I'll get the other two. That can be seen, not really, but we'll just go with it. All right, so we will start with these promos. At least for, we'll start with Ignition Assault. Promos, Koki Guts, and Cyberse Accelerator. All right. I'm oh, sorry that this is going to be a pretty long video because there's a lot to open, but uh, I don't make videos often, so. Let's see, two, three, four. Ooh, Ling Kribo. Yeah, Ling Kribo. All right. One, two, three. So I gotta keep that in mind. All right, all right, all right. That's pretty cool. Let's put the foils there. Uh, the combination just go wherever. <laughs> all right. So, one, two, three. All right. Hold on. Are these like those statue cards? Let me see. Doesn't look like it. I was thinking that those were the uh, barrier statue, like the barrier statues. Similar kind of artwork. Oh, I messed it up. All right. Uh, Bonneville Unchained Soul. All right. Let's 
I'm not gonna worry about doing that now. <laughs> I just messed it up. <laughs> Link party. Huh. Shiny black sea squatter. I know I saw that in one of the other packs, but two thousand attack insect vanilla. That's an interesting thing. Agnes, ooh, okay. I don't know anything about Agnesters, so. And later, Archfiend. All right. Uh, interesting artwork. All right. So, next off. Circuit Break. Let's look at the promos. We got Lockout Gardener. <laughs> a lot of people need to go into Lockout at this time and right now. <laughs> and then Stardust Chronicle Spark Dragon. Alright. Of course, I know nothing of these cards. I have to read them. But I know mostly what I do look for. I actually like that card. Uh, I believe I have one of my mermails right now. I gotta do another profile for that with, since the um, format changed. Uh, thank goodness. Because I was getting tired of running nothing but links. Uh, Subterra Behemoth. Okay. Well, I mean, I wasn't running nothing but links, but you know what I mean. Ooh, Ling Ling. I actually kind of want to build a uh, Cyberdark deck with that. I have one in uh, Duel Links, and it's so much fun to play. That is if I can go off. A lot of the times I just brick. You know, sure, play the meta if you want, but I like to have fun. Says the guy playing Mermels. Altergeist Protocol and Samurai Destroyer. Alright. I never understood FAs. Or UAs or whatever they're called. Ultra Athletes and whatnot. Yeah, UA. Did I pull one in like every pack? Gateway Dragon. Alright. Metaphys Dimension. Another Ling Ling. Ling Ling, whatever. <laughs> I'm always going to botch that name without actually like, sitting there to read it. Alright. Now, the newest set. Secret Slayers. Oh. These are all foil. I did not know that. Okay. Well, this is going to be fun. Oh, that's... Rico Tranquility. That's actually pretty cool. I like the artwork. Trap Trick. Wait a minute. There's one normal trap from your deck except Trap Trick. And set one card with the same name trick from your deck to also. Oh my goodness, this is. Mm, okay. Yeah. I've seen that play before. 
Oh, wow. Secret. Uh, can't read it through the shiny. Adam Mance, Adam Mance Painter. I can, I'm botching the name. Analyzer. All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. An Emancipator Analyzer. And one thing you will learn from me is I cannot pronounce names to save my life. Almost getting close to 11 minutes, not bad timing. Okay then. Well, DD Borderline. That's an interesting card to have. That that actually that's mm, no because when there's no spell cards, right? Yeah, no spells in your graveyard. Uh, I would say that'd be good for burn, but at the same time, that that's putting spells in your graveyard. What good is this card? I, I can't even think of anything. Besides, you know, setting up a monster board. I don't know. Leave something in the comments for what you guys think. Another Emancipator card. Oh, Galaxy Cyclone. Let's see how much this is going for. A lot of people play this. Oh my god, Goki Mirror. And... El Dorado... I can't even, hold on, I can't even read that. Ad, Adelian Tato. I probably botched that so badly. Alright. I'm going to give up on trying to say names. <laughs> if you guys want to see what a card does, I'll just go ahead and pause it and read the name or whatever. I'm, uh, I'm no good at this. The Oxy Cyclone, nice. Ooh, Block Dragon. If I can remember, that's actually somewhat relevant. Well, at least it used to be. Rika Sheet. Actually, I, I want to read this one. Tribute one face-up monster your opponent controls. Also, you can tribute one plant monster. Players cannot activate that face-up monster's effect on the field this turn. Then, if you tributed a monster when you activated this card, take control of that monster until the end phase. And if you do, it becomes a plant monster. Oh, okay. Kind of, kind of like a Widow Anchor, if I'm correct. Just slower. Because it's a trap card. But then again, it doesn't have that restriction of um, not having a monster in your main monster zone, if I'm correct, that Widow Anchor has. Forgive me, it's been forever since I've read anything on um, that archetype. I can't even remember the name of it. Slip in my mind. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? I just got me some ill blood. <laughs> God, that thing is creepy. It's been like forever since I've seen that. Hold on, what's this Gemini effect? Once per turn, you can start to summon one zombie monster from your hand or from either graveyard. But if this card leaves the field, destroy all zombie monsters special summoned by this effect. Okay, that actually, I might, because I have a zombie deck, I actually might run this. I actually might run this. That's actually pretty good. It's pretty cool. Ooh. So that must be the, um, for that, those trap cards. I like the artwork. 
Chris, okay. Pokemiru. Emancipator Ryzen. Leonite. What are these Emancipator cards about, anyways? Uh, activate the top five cards of your deck during your main phase. And if you do, you can add one excavated Emancipator card to your hand. Also place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. During your opponent's turn, if a fire monster is in your graveyard, quick effect, you can target one rock monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Okay, so you're going to use each effect once per turn. I think that's a hard one per turn. Because it lists the name. I have to look into it more. I am actually actually might uh, try building that deck on uh, Duel Links when I can. And the Emancipators have such cool looking cards. Another Galaxy Cyclone. Miracle Fertilizer. Goodness gracious. Yep. Rika Fair. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I actually saw a um, video by uh, Capital G, I think. I can't remember his name. But, um,. Nah, I know what the emancipators are now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. I don't know much, but I've seen them in one video. An archetype for rocks. Huh. It's interesting. Block Dragon again. Tiro drop the Rika Queen. Huh. Too low late. It's a generic. But has to do with plant type monsters. <coughs> For those that you don't that don't know, I have a blue eyes duck. Blue eyes, of course, when I said to start the start the video, is one of my most favorite monsters. So I'm always looking ways to improve my deck. There's a lot that needs to be improved on it. <laughs> All right, another block dragon, nine-tailed fox, Rika tranquility, more emancipators. I'm saying it correctly. Please let me know if I'm not. Say something, please. <laughs> Just say. Black Mamba, you're an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing harsh though, please. Because it is YouTube. <laughs> Alright, anyways. I actually might build this, uh, this archetype. I like it. Though how good it is, I'm not sure. Our Delixir of Secret Sanguine, I think. And it's, it's going to be nothing for my zombie deck, so. Alright. Let's get these more under view. I wish it was another blue eyes because then it would be a lot cooler to have three blue eyes there. Here, you know what? That's bugging me. There we go. Alright. Let's get started. Alright, cards I want to pull. I mean, there's a lot I want. Uh, needle fiber, everything, just pretty much everything. The 
Abyss Actor. Ooh, Cyber Emergency. Nice. Devil Evolution Pill and White Mare. All right. Um, I do have a Cyber Dragon deck. I might do an update on it. Depending on what I can get in here. <laughs> Uh, I'm also building cubics, so I'm I'm the far far away from that. Secret six samurai, but that's a ninja, right? <laughs> Please tell me I'm right. <laughs> it's a samurai, but it's a ninja. Oh, I never understood some of the artwork sometimes. It doesn't help that there's like a translation difference too. Like, oh uh, crap, what was it? Uh, totally awesome. I wish it was still tree toad. Or whatever it was before. Hysteric side? Really? That's in here? Huh. Malefic? Hold on. Is this Malefics? Yeah. I forgot that Malefics got some uh, support from this. MST. <laughs> oh man. That's an interesting artwork. Alright, I'm getting there, guys. If you stuck through this long, I mean, I know it's over 20 minutes now. I thank you so much. Try blow through this here. All right. And I'm not great for commentary either, especially when I'm doing this by myself. I have a place at now. Going to Castle of Stormberg, nice. Vanity's ruler. Um, I'm going to figure out how to set up my switch to go on to uh, the live stream on Twitch. Um, I recently picked up Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for the Switch along with uh, the new Animal Crossing game. So I'd like to start live streaming those there if I can. If not, probably do what I'm doing here at the tripod and um, just make videos that way. Deck Lockdown. Neither player can add cards from the deck to their hand except by drawing them. Monsters cannot be special summoned from the main deck. Destroy this card during your second standby phase after activation. Alright. I'm trying not to yell. <laughs> Finally got Levian here. That's freaking phenomenal. Thank God. Oh. 
Oh my god. Love you in here. That is freaking phenomenal. All right. Okay, I gotta figure out when I wanna throw that in. Hold on, let me find a sleeve here. That's something I desperately wanted. Uh, don't tell me I don't have any sleeves. All right, that's fantastic. All right, well, I don't have sleeves, but I'll leave that there. All right. One out of many. One out of many. Sign up. <laughs> Got another sign up mining. Malefic Paradox here. Malefics don't need those stupid synchro monster and tuners they have. You can just splash them in anything, really. Any, anything that has a field spell to it. And don't even use like the main deck stuff. <laughs> Just banish from the extra deck to summon them. What? Union Carrier. Okay. Malefic Divide. Hold on. I like the artwork. Target one Malefic Monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions, but its effects are negated. Also, banish it during the end phase. So that's like a push for game. Okay. You know what? Just because. Getting closer to the end. Another cybernetic overflow. All right. Uh, so I'm in great. I need to read this card actually because I might need it. One normal monster. One normal summon monster with a thousand or less attack. Okay. That's pretty easy to do. Quick effect, you can tribute this card and target one monster you control. It can not be destroyed by your opponent's card effects this turn. Right? Yeah. When a normal summon monster you control is destroyed by battle, this card's in your graveyard, special summon this card. Okay. I don't know, maybe. Maybe, that's a maybe. That's a hard maybe. I don't know, almost 30 minutes. Goodness gracious. It is not. Can this not? Really? <laughs> if you saw my previous video, I've pulled these two cards. This is great. Oh my goodness. I just need a third one for a playset now. Watch this, watch this one have the third one. Just watch. Nope. All right. Well, that was an interesting uh, pack opening. Got a lot of cards there. Uh, <laughs> ones that I'm more most happy for. 
of course. And there goes one of them. Ugh. I'm most happy for those two. Levy and Ear and um, Infinite Impermanence. So, made it this far. Thank you. I know it's a long video. Um, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, we will, I will be making a video with uh, Dark Sage later. Hopefully today, if not tomorrow, or whenever, and uh, we'll open up the other two uh, dual overloads. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.